Hello YouTube and welcome to a tree how to tutorial thingy. I'm not too sure what I'm going to categorize this as, but as you know I'm doing this tree repository and I thought I'll do the next one sort of on camera and um, show you the techniques because they've changed slightly from other videos. Um, it's not going to be a like, direct how to video, it's more of a, a direct tutorial on this one specific tree. It's just a general, this is how I do trees in general. As you can see we've got some nice looking trees and I got the um, CUDA shaders working and CUDA is now my favourite shaders ever. Um, mainly because of the water and the water when you go underneath. You know you can actually see underneath, you can actually see underneath from on top and it's just, it, it's so nice. I like it. And I'm happy that I've got it working. Um, so, on to a tree. Before we get started I'm actually going to show you this. So this is um, the website that I'm using to get all my trees. As you can see, there's a big long list: Alder Buckthorn, Alder Common, Ash, Aspen, and I've just been going down this list. I've skipped a few out, uh, such as that one because it was weird. This one was a bit of an odd one, and um, the bird cherry tree. Just some that I can't do, some that I don't want to do. Um, but I've done most of them so far, and we are up to F, which is the field maple. So. I was just going to Google, type in field maple, um, looking at the Wikipedia page, finding out how tall they grow, um, some of the characteristics of the tree, and stuff like that. So as you can see, this is the that's the shape that we're going for, the sort of oval shape there. So let's get back to Minecraft. So I already know I tried to make this tree last night, and it didn't work. That's why I decided to do it on, um, on camera this time. So let's get started. We're going to go for a simple four block high um, trunk. Now this tree I think it grew 15 to 25 blocks and because I've been scaling these down um, like this I think is 35 blocks this Douglas fir and that's the tallest I think it might be about 38 blocks something like that. So I've been scaling them down because that's meant to be growing to 60 to 75 and it's only 35 so you see that I'm really shortening these trees so we're making it out of dark oak just to make it a little bit different because a lot of these are just normal oak uh, we want this to be quite wide so there's our main trunk now we can either go up and out like this and don't worry too much about being on a straight line I know people are like oh it's, it's got to be angled no because if you're looking at it from this side it is angled it's only straight from there and if you have um, sort of this shape going on that is a straight line, it's just going at a 45 degree angle, so you're just fooling yourself really. So we've done that, that's our first sort of branch going out, then we're going to do another one. And that one's a bit more angled, you see it sticks out that way and then comes out again. And I think we're actually going to do another branch that comes off there, so we're going to go out and then down like that. And you see I'm sticking to roughly three blocks for these big main branches. So they're coming out sort of like that, and they're roughly staying the same, um, although it is a bit flat this one. Um, we'll make that dip down, why not? And we'll do another one up here, just like that. So there's our basic layout, and you can see it's not that wide, but now we're going to get onto the cobble wall metadata. So this, we're just going to sort of bring it out like that, and just come out a couple of directions. Same here, we'll just go down a little bit. Um, so on this side, we'll just bring it forward by a little bit, bring that across and out and down like that. And on this side, um, this side I think we'll go up a little bit maybe. So we'll go sort of in. Yeah, we can go in, up like that. And you're not really going to get a great idea of what this tree is going to look like until you start to add the leaves and that's the longest part of my process because I do these trees in such a specific way um, adding leaves um, to the tree takes forever um, but it does have a really nice result as you can see here from these trees so stick around for that I'll probably be cutting all of that bit out anyway um, because like I said it's really boring it's very tedious work so every now and then I'm just going to put a branch that goes up like that and now we can work on the main middle bit because if you just went around with this bit all the leaves and stuff it would um, 
it'd be very flat in the middle and it'd sort of just like go in like that, a bit like a donut, it'd be a bit weird. So let's get on to that. So the middle branch, what we're going to go for is going off one of these two. So this would be the main trunk, so it would make sense to go up from there, but I think I might go for this one instead, because we've got this that comes up. So we're going to go up three and then bring it out a bit at the back there, just so it sort of fiddle, uh, fills this out a bit. And now we're going to get onto the final stage of the tree. So we're going to be going to fence posts. And with the fences, we're going to go off the end of one of the branches. So I'm just looking for a good place to start. We'll start on this one because it's quite straight. So we're going to start on there and we're going to go... Is that a bit too straight? That's yeah, fine. Um, we're going to just come down like this. And this is a, the most basic shape that I use all the time. So we've got that one going on. And then I'm going to just bring it around a little bit like that and then come on this side and sort of go up a little bit and stick one out um, ooh. So do that up like this and out like that and do that one down and out like that god damn it I hate the fence bit fences are so fiddly Right, there we go, so that's sort of one bit of a branch done. I'm just going to do this all around the rest of the tree, so we're just going to come... See, I've done that shape again, just stick a bit on the end there. And then I can... I'm actually just going to leave that one that we'll put sticking out there. So you can even just put little tiny sections on as well every now and then. And that'll look, do well to make your tree stand out and look a little bit more interesting. And because I've done this technique over and over and over again, I can sort of see problems before they occur, but I will still run into a few um, issues where the tree doesn't look as great as it could. So when I get to that, we'll uh, I'll show you how to fix those type of things. So I'm just going to put a little bit on there as well. And I'm just going to do the outside of the tree first, so all of these little branches here. And remember we want this shape so it's quite oval, so it's going to go round, up and back round again. That was the shape on that picture that we're going for, so uh, depending on the shape of the leaves and the crown of the tree, uh, that will depend on how you do these fences. Obviously for a tree that's going to be like the beach here, this was a very rounded tree so I had to bear that in mind while I was placing the fences. And for trees like the pines, you know, I had to keep them sort of <clears throat> not branching out too far, just keep it in a nice straight line uh, we'll be up to so we need to add a little bit on there actually we'll do it do it there and this can just go back like that and then go down an extra block and then come out and yeah it's just very nice simple idea and this does take time and it'll take a while before you actually get used to the technique and uh, get good at it but once you can do it, it makes making trees very, very easy and a very simple process. The only thing is, is this fence bit and the leaves, it, it does take a while, but like I said, once you get used to that, you can do them. Like when I was first using this technique and trying to do tutorials on it, it's taken me about maybe an hour to do a video. Um, although I was doing really big trees in those videos. The smaller ones like this, it'll take me maybe 20 minutes just to make a tree and I can do them pretty quickly now. So. That's always a bonus. So we're just going to bring these top branches out now so that they overhang here a little bit so we're going to get a nice smoother transition on this um, oval instead of it just going sort of up and in and then round the top like that. So we're going to have to bring this down, come out like that. So that should be fine. Maybe. We'll see in a minute. Um, here as well we need to bring them down and out like that. And then we're going to join, these are our two tallest branches, so we're going to actually join them up in the middle by going up a block, and I do this on all of my trees, go up a block and just join them like that a little bit randomly. Um, with this one here we'll just put an extra branch going on and it can come down and out like that. You see we've got a big space here in the middle, I'm not too sure if I'm going to like that or not. Um, I mean what we could do is we just do that that go up a block and come in a block 
that will get rid of that gap there so that should be fine and then here again we want to keep this transition smooth I don't have to go up as high with this one because this branch already comes up so we can go up in bring it across like that and we have a big space here which I tend to actually accidentally do a lot we've got this big space and because I've got this branch here what I can do is just bring that into this space and that should quite nicely fill up that gap there so it's time to add the leaves to this tree and as you can see already from this di from this side we've got this oval shape going on um, and I like to look at it from all different sides to make sure it's sort of the same all the way through so as you can see we've got a big gap here and we've got uh, that's not smooth enough so what I'm going to do here is just put a branch that goes up two and then across one and that should work for that this side we have this little raised bit here I'm just going to put a small section like that and that should be fine I'll check this side yep that all looks good and we'll check this side and that all looks good so I'm going to do the leaves off camera because the leaves take the forever um, I'm going to use jungle for this tree as well um, just because I'm not too sure which one to use and if you use this in a small forest with other trees I'm trying to add variation in the leaves so that from a distance you'll be able to see the difference because at the moment a lot of the big trees have got oak leaves so I'm just trying to mix that up and keep it interesting I don't think actually that I've used jungle leaves for any trees yet so this will be our first jungle leaf tree yeah all right so what I'm going to do for the leaves is we're gonna go on the bottom of every fence post the side of every fence post and the top of every fence post that you can see and it's a very long boring process you will miss some sometimes and it will drive you insane by the end but this is only like sort of stage two I suppose there is a little bit more to do afterwards and if you watch our DACA videos he says this all the time that he likes this style of just placing them everywhere so um, it's, it's good because it, it doesn't have any thinking involved, it's all about um, sort of just following the basics and just going through, oh this needs to go here, this needs to go here, and you can just do it without thinking, and it just makes the process of making trees a lot simpler and a lot easier. And as you can see, we've already got a nice shape going on, I'm just going to do this little bit so we can show you on camera and I'm going to talk a little bit about it and then I'll do the rest off camera so um, we do here, here, and you can see where I'm getting really into those tight places that's the ones that you're going to miss and don't forget to come underneath like that and on this one on the inside and there so here we go there's our first little section done that's maybe a quarter of the tree done and it's not looking too bad you can see we've got this little gap here and that's fine you will get little ones like that every now and then and again that's fine and sometimes you'll notice that you'll get bulky square sections of the tree and don't worry about that because the next stage that we do to make it look like this um, is going to get rid of all of those things a lot of these trees looked terrible before I done this little um, extra technique that I've only recently started doing to be honest um, but yeah so I'm just gonna cut here and I'll come back when the tree is full of leaves okay so we're back and this is what our tree looks like and it's got a really nice shape to it I'm quite happy with the way it's turned out it's got that nice oval shape it looks best from the front or what I like to call the front anyway but it does still have a few issues and those issues being for like here you have one two three four five blocks in a sort of straight line and you've got like two blocks and it goes in another straight line so from here it kind of just looks like it's a straight line all across and this section here as well it's quite bulky um, you know the too high and the too high and the too high it's it doesn't look great there's always going to be a few issues with this technique but that's where the next stage comes into it so we're going to use some glowstone and we're just going to get a wooden axe and this is yep you might have guessed it world edit and I said very early on in one of my videos about making trees that using world edit to make trees is cheating but um, with this technique I've sort of done all the hard work so it's not quite cheating I'm making up excuses now but 
it, it works and it looks nice. What I meant by using well like, for cheating is using brushes and stuff. Um, but yeah, you can still make nice looking trees doing that. This is just the way I do it. So I'm going to first of all, uh, oh, I need a stick because I can never remember which metadata it is. We're going to find 162 and we're going to do 162 colon 12, no colon 13. Yeah, so we're going to do replace, replace 162, 162 colon 13. And what that'll do is give us the log that's covered on all sides. And then this is where my lovely world edit command comes into play to make the tree look even better than it already is. We're going to do replace, I really can't spell that word, can I? And we're using jungle leaves, so we're going to do 18 with 75% 18 colon 15, that's the jungle leaves, comma 25% 0. And there you go, so you just press that and it randomly gets rid of a bunch of leaves. Now depending on the type of tree that you do, you will need to do different percentages. So for example, I think this was 75, that was 75, I think that would have been 85 the birch um, this might have been 70 that was 70 so it just depends on the density of the tree and the shape of the tree it depends on um, so the percentages so you can just play around with them and you can get really intricate if you want I'm just going to undo that and then just redo the command a couple times and undo it again and just keep going until I find one that I like um, I just it this helps to keep it random that's not too bad I do think that I might need to do a few more. Oh, see, from this side, that looks great. It's the other side that I'm worried about. Like here as well. You know, just you could just go around by hand and punch out a few places here and there, just to add to that randomness. Um, so where you think you need to work on some spaces, you can go by and do it by hand. So I'm actually going to get rid of one of these just because of that straight line. And there you go. It's that's okay. And I'm actually going to put a leaf back in here, just because it was looking a bit flat on that side. I'm actually going to put the top one on. There you go, so it's, it makes that smoother again. And yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's stage three. There is another stage that you can do, but for that I need to turn off shaders, and this is really an optional thing, but I like to do it. So I'm going to turn off shaders, and I've talked about this in one of my videos before. Underneath the... Oh well, this one's actually worked really well. <laughs> Normally underneath the tree you get these big dark patches like we've got here. And that's down to uh, the leaves and logs and walls and everything just overlapping. And when it overlaps it means that light can't pass through. So I've just got rid of one leaf block there. It doesn't make too much of a difference to the tree. Although it kind of actually does. It looks so weird now with the shaders turned off. Um, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll actually put that leaf block back in because I think we need it. We'll just have to leave that as dark. But over here as well, maybe we could get rid of one leaf block. We could go for that one and then put that in there. Nope. Put that. Put that one there. Put that up there. Yeah. So that's worked fine. And we see that dark patch has gotten a little lighter now. And then all the way up here, we can punch that one out. See, we've got this light patch again. And the reason I'm doing this is when people use these trees in a big forest and they start overlapping each other, it'll be really, really dark in that forest. Now, it won't matter too much with shaders, which is why I said I've had to turn shaders off to do this. But, um, put that there. But if, you, um, if you're not using shaders and you're just going to have a forest full of these trees, you want these bits of light to come through. So if I just go for a little walk along here and see how nice it actually feels looking up underneath these trees like that. And you can see bits of light coming through so you it's not quite as dense. But if you had loads of these together you probably wouldn't be able to see those bits of light. So that's that's the reason behind doing this. Now for people who are using the console versions or not using Conquest Texture Pack so you can't get the metadatas, you can still use the fences though um, 
I wouldn't use them as much. What I'd do with the fences is I would do replace. I'd do all of it like I've just done, and then do replace 85 with sort of 80% 85 and 20% zero, or 70% 85, which is fence. 20% zero and 10%. 18 so that's leaves so replacing the fences with some leaves some uh, but mainly keeping them as fences and that just mix it up so the fences aren't as strong uh, leaves completely up to you they are different with default so probably oak would look best for this um, and obviously the cobstone walls you won't be able to use so just use um, the logs and just bring them out as far as you have to and you can also do it in like corners so with the cobblestone walls I've had to join them up there so what you could do is just have that one and that one and then you wouldn't need the other bits but um, just put that back to colour wall but yeah that's about it for this video guys this is all I've done um, doing the sort of the trunks and stuff you can completely up to you I like subtle ones sometimes I don't even do them because if the tree is not even that big you don't need them all the time for the bigger ones it's up to you how you want to do the trunks and how you want to do the roots and stuff. Uh, but I'm sure you can just figure them out. It's just placing a couple of blocks at the bottom. And another thing just before I end the video with trees, trying to keep it again with the realism. I've done it here, all this dirt stuff. And you don't get grass growing under the trees because the light can't get through properly. So there tends to be a small sort of ring of dirt or like patches of dirt around the trees. So that's what I've tried to go for here. Just another small little tip for you guys to try and think of when it comes to building your own trees. Well, that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me do more videos like this, um, put a comment down below so I know. Uh, like the video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Also, 300 subscribers now. So thank you everybody who's subscribing so far. Oh, and that's it guys. So I'll see you in the next one.